What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Sag, and um, you want to be notified for future readings, and you enjoy my gabby mouth, and you enjoy the pink channel, you can smash this uh, sub button for future readings. Just saying, just saying. Um, this is True Sitting for Sama Sag. This can resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your chart Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter. Um, it's truth hidden. It's basically what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. It can be anybody, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, a lover, a past lover. Sally Joe the, down the street that has so many kids. She doesn't know what to do. Anybody. Um, it's a free general reading, so only take the messages to resonate. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. And thank you to YouTube. My uh, channel is back on the YouTube recommendations. I know it's because of you guys. And, oh. And I want to give a huge shout out to YouTube for putting me on the YouTube recommendations again. It's been about, I think, six to nine months, but I'm back on. So thank you guys so much. You guys are the bestest. Just saying. Um, every like, subscribe, share, unlike, and um, donation. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. Links in the description box below. Okay, so I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your November Truths Hidden Energy. And the message I heard uh, for you guys, what somebody doesn't want you to know, is lingerie is about to be found. That's what I heard. So, this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. Now, it doesn't have to be your lingerie. It could be somebody else's. But some, some kind of lingerie is about to be found, but somebody doesn't want you to know. So, for some, I do feel it might be your lingerie or somebody you're connected to's lingerie. But somebody's lawn, some kind of lingerie is about to be found. And they, somebody doesn't want a Sag to know. So, just saying, just saying. Um, yikes are rude. Just saying. I mean, it could be your family member's lingerie. It could be your kid's lingerie. It could be your lingerie. It could be your spouse's lingerie. Somebody's lingerie. I, I didn't... Ow! Oh! Oh, that hurt so bad. I didn't, That hurt so bad. Oh, my God. I don't know what kind of lingerie. I don't know if it's like g-string or thong or teddy or whatever the crap it is i don't know some kind of lingerie six of pentacles upright the sun upright An ancestral relationship in a Sagittarius's family is about to be known with evidence soon. Oh my God. Woo! Holy crap. I heard an ancestral relationship in a Sagittarius family is about to be known um, with evidence soon. So with evidence, so I'm thinking video energy or pictures or text messages or something but some kind of ancestral relationship in a Sagittarius family so it's not you it's somebody in your family that has an ancestral relationship um it could be uncle and niece or brother and sister or mother and son or whatever but it's not you it's somebody connected in your family um but there's some kind of evidence that's uh, about to make it known so this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know i think you're connected to these ancestral one ancestral person or both of them you plug it in how it resonates i don't think it goes with this i'll tell you that a sagittarius's partner has been traveling a lot but they've been doing it for strategic strategic reasons They own a motorcycle for some, and for some, they're a cosmetologist. Okay, so, wow. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, you have a partner, Sag, if this resonates with you, and um, for some of you guys, is your partner is a cosmetologist, and for some, they own a motorcycle. So, you plug that in, how that resonates, but they've been traveling for strategic reasons recently. Um, but it's, uh, I feel cheating energy here. Um, I feel cheating energy. 
give or take money aspect they're giving to somebody it makes them happy um just for real for real i'm serious about that but you plug it in how it resonates because it's all in the cards give or take money aspect they're giving to somebody or they're traveling for strategic reasons um but it's not to be around you so they're giving to somebody and i think it's in the relationship department or sexual department it could be money energy or time one or all those things it makes them happy for some they could be dealing with the leo if they are they could have leo and they're semi rising venus ortho made him or jupiter you plug it in how it resonates but if this resonates with you or you feel it does you have a partner and for some of you guys they own a motorcycle and for some they are a cosmetologist so you plug it in however that resonates Share messages you have for sign of such. A Sagittarius is about to get child protective services called on them soon. Oh my God, I heard a child, um, Sag is about to get child protective services called on them soon. So this is what somebody doesn't want you to know, Sag. Apparently you either have custody of children or you are the guardian of the children or you're the biological parent of the children. But for some reason you're about to get child protective services called on you if this resonates with you. That's what somebody doesn't want you to know. Eight of Pentacles reversed, three of Swords reversed, eight of Swords reversed. Someone is very, very, very pissed. They are about to find out they're going to jail. No bond. Oh my God. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, if this resonates with you, um, someone's about to find out they're going to jail. They're going to be very, very pissed. I heard no bond, so they're not going to be able to bond out. Um, they're about to find out they're going to jail. So it's not something that happened, you know, like they were had a run in with the police officer and then they ended up getting arrested. Um, no, I heard they're about to find out they're going to jail. So I, we've been pulling in a lot of indictment energy in here recently. So I wonder if for some of these people, it's indictment, indictment for some, for some, it could be something else that, um, where they find out they're going to jail. Um, but it's not, you know, like I said, where you're in public and, it's like some kind of public indecency charge or um, you're walking around with booze and you're not supposed to. And then you, you know, you get charged, you know, you, whatever. It's not something like that. It's, they're about to find out. So it's something that somebody has been contemplating over. Is, um, but, and it's very serious because I heard no bond. So they're not going to be able to bond out or they've been arrested before they had a warrant out or something like that that caused them not to be able to bond out. So, um, this is, um, money loss, they'll be in jail, eight of pentacles reverse, they'll be in jail, money loss, negative eight, negative 10, um, and some probably legal charges going along with this, even though they won't be able to bond out, um, they won't be able to work. So that'll be money loss while they're in jail and they'll probably have to incur some kind of legal fees, um, lawyer and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Three of swords reversed. Um, they're not heartbroken or you're not heartbroken that they're going to jail. Well, I think they're not heartbroken or, or no, I think this is no remorse over this crime because it's a serious ass crime. I think they have no remorse. They're, they have no remorse. And then eight of swords reversed. Um, I heard no bond, but usually that's upright that's upright but let me see if i hear anything else shocking series of shame events is going to occur with this they will get a very bad mental health evaluation Okay. Oh God. I heard shocking series of chain events is going to occur with this and they're going to get a very bad mental health evaluation. So, um, not only are they going to be in jail with no bond, but 
They're going to get a very bad mental health evaluation, too. This is terrible. So, I, yeah, I think this is a no remorse for the crime. No empathy, no remorse for a crime, for the crime, uh, which I think is going to lead to the bad mental health evaluation. Um, because if you have no remorse and no sympathy and no empathy for the crime, there's that's sociopathic, psychopathic behavior. So I could see where they would get a bad mental health evaluation. And then um, the eight of swords reversed in this situation, I think, is um, them not being remorseful for this, um, the bad mental health evaluation. Um, upright, it could be mental prison, jail, or prison. Um, but they do not have any remorse, any remorse or heartbreak over this crime or crimes. So they do not feel remorseful that they're even in jail and they committed these crimes. So. They are not in a mental prison, which is unusual because they committed all these crimes. So, i.e. bad mental health evaluation is what I'm feeling here. This is terrible. This is terrible. But this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. Somebody you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. Okay. We'll do one more. Spirit messages you have for a sign of Sag. Now, I will say, I've worked in a jail before as a nurse, as an RN, intake nurse. And if you get a bad mental health evaluation, um, you you don't go to general cop, I'll tell you that. Usually, usually you don't. Um, I mean, for some, that uh, usually you don't. I mean, it really all depends on the circumstances. Depends on circumstances. But this person has no remorse, no, uh, no empathy. I mean... It's, this isn't like manipulation. Oh, I want to hurt myself, so I don't want to be up there with everybody and their mama. Um, and that happens in jails. Um, but this isn't that. This is something else where it's truly something going on up here. But the person that's about to evaluate them, medical professional that's about to evaluate them, is about to pick up on it. Devil, high priestess. Someone's use of black magic for over a decade is about to have a huge return to cinder on them. Huge. Dark arts practitioner. It might take them out. Oh my God, dear God, Sag. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if this resonates with you. I heard someone's, um, this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. It's somebody you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. But apparently they've been using dark arts. They've been practicing dark arts for over a decade, I heard. So for 10 plus years. Um, obviously very highly skilled and knowledgeable in it. But it, black magic always backfires. E either a little bit or a lot. In this situation... I think that, you know, they've been doing it over a decade, 10 plus years. So they've been doing it a lot and frequently, I'm presuming, but for many years. But I heard it's about to have a huge return to cinder. So I think return to cinder on them. I heard it's about to, it might take them out. So I, Black Magic can either backfire on the, the person that does it or somebody connected to them. But in this situation, I feel it's them because I heard it might take them out. So I think take like take them physically out of the world like black backfiring on them to make their health decline so severely that they might not make it is what i'm saying so i don't think it's going to backfire on somebody connected to them it's going to backfire on them but in the form of severe mental health or physical health or both declining in a huge severe way is what i'm feeling from the messages um because i heard it might take them out them out not somebody they're connected to so you have to play it's a dark art spiritual practitioner so you have to plug them in how they resonate in your life devil upright is the use of the black magic for over 10 years high priestess upright is the um dark arts they're not on the light side they are dark art spiritual practitioner black magic voodoo person Whoever this is that's connected to you in your life. But they've been using the dark arts over 10 plus years, I'll tell you that. 
For some, you could be dealing with a Capricorn because it's Caps energy. If you are, they could have Caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, or Jupiter. If that resonates with you, you plug it in how it resonates. Now, the High Priestess can be a pos very positive card or a very negative card. But in this situation, it is a dark arts voodoo type practitioner. Um, on the dark side, darks, I mean, been on the dark side over a decade. So just saying, just saying. But it's, it's about to have a huge return to center to them. This is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. So you have to plug that voodoo S type dark arts black magic -y person in your life how they fit. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. You're about to see a huge positive turnaround in one particular person very soon. For some children. Okay, this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you, want you to know. You're about to see a huge positive turnaround soon in one particular person. Um, so I think I think they've separated themselves from you energetically. If this resonates, um, there's a reason they don't want you to know. They're having a huge positive turnaround. If that resonates with you, um, or maybe it's just somebody you've been out of touch with for a hot minute. However, that resonates. But um, and then a huge positive turnaround and some children soon. So. Um, and this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. So you plug it in, however that resonates. If that resonates with you, it's two or more children I'm feeling. For some, it might be one child. You plug it in, how it resonates. I love you guys. I hope it helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from the messages, please share the videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.